been a minute I came on this Twitter thing and I'm doing this I'm doing this for the international fans so I'm not gonna speak in Korean You ready for the album drop? It's um, I don't know I don't know how long it's gonna take the thing to 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 go on Spotify and Apple Music worldwide, but in Korea at least it's coming out in, in a week, seven days. So super excited! Like I can't wait next seven days is gonna feel like seven years for me because this is for me personally is a very anticipated album uh, my first full-length album and you know this project me and uh, Mokio aka Thursday we, we've been working on it since like 2017 some songs were made in 2017 and yeah, it's just, it's been an ongoing project ever since, so. After the album drop, um, we'll see, one step at a time, like, I have stuff that I need to do here in, in Korea, and then, and then I'm, I'm gonna start planning out the, the tour, either, whether it be like US, Canada, or Asia, or Europe, we'll see. I can't tell you how many songs just yet because I haven't, uh, we haven't revealed the track list yet, so I don't want to give it up. Mexico or South Africa, Paris, Australia. Yeah, but Europe, you guys just got sick here and Woody, so it might it might be kind of unfair if if I went to Europe instead of other countries. Other countries need to get some. Come to Ohio. I don't. I actually don't think. I don't. I don't know anyone who's been to Ohio like like Korean artists to do a show in Ohio Chicago yes sir shout out you getting the but we're not getting the real thing you ah word yeah I yeah, I know Europe is lit though. I saw uh, stories from Higher Music account or CK's videos. Yeah, Europe, Europe is pretty lit. 18 or I've never been to ATL. I wanna go. Lots of people in Ohio that want me. Really? Did I see Sick K fall? Oh, he fell? I didn't know. Yeah. It's probably from all the uh, water spraying. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna sell my lungs for you. <laughs> Nah, chill, bro. Um, yeah, but anyways, I, I thought I came on the Twitter live, you know, because it's been a minute. I, I did this in English, and uh, I know I have a pretty solid fan base worldwide, so. And it's my goal, like, it's my goal to expand that international fandom, you know what I mean? Not just, not just Korea, because Korea, you know, I, I think... 
it's like there's a limit to how, how much it can grow because just because of the size the sheer size of it so I want I want to grow my fan fandom uh, worldwide so I'm on my way to a movie shoot uh, music video shoot um, not movie shoot music video shoot um, it's for the title track of my album um, there's gonna be two title tracks right there's gonna be two title tracks uh, and just to give you a little bit spoiler um, I already shot the other one uh, other video and it's, it's more it's more like more singing you know what I mean it's more mainstream it's for the you know it's for the people that that prefer more singing more melodic you know for the for the ladies you know what I mean but um the, the one that I'm shooting today the other title track is more like more rap you know what I mean because with this album I wanted to re like rekindle um you know the, the rap inside of me you know what I mean because you know when I first started rapping like I wasn't you know singing I was I wasn't doing the whole like melodic or musical type of stuff I used to start out doing boom bap old school you know like um or trap whatever and I used to rap rap you know what I mean that's how I started making my name out there you know what I mean and that's 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 how Jay picked me up too you know what I mean I used to rap rap but um as I started my career officially I thought about what I really wanted to do and I'm not just into like rap music, you know what I mean? I'm into like jazz, I'm into r and I'm into neo soul. So, and I've been in, I've been a band member. Like I've been a drummer, I've been a guitarist, I've been a vocalist all my life, you know what I mean? So I wanted to like incorporate all my musical abilities into my own personal color, you know what I mean? Like that's why I do music that I do now I make music that I make now you know what I mean it's more musical it's more melodic it's more um, it's, it's it's just like well balanced song you know what I mean that's what I prefer that's what I hope to make in the future too but at the same time I felt like as I made more songs like that people started some people some people started thinking that like maybe I don't rap or maybe you know maybe like that's all I know how to do so with this album I I have a lot of um, I have some rap songs like just just rap song like hip-hop rap song like. but I have some for the people that really like the uh, you know melodic side of me uh, yeah it's just gonna have a very uh, you're gonna see a lot of uh, versatility in this album, and hopefully, you like it as much as I do because I'm in love with my album. Um, I can't wait till till I show you what I have in store, um, not just with this album, but for the upcoming projects in the future too. You know what I mean? So there's nowhere to go but to grow, but to go up. You know what I mean? From from this point on, so. I just wanted to say, like, thank you for always being supportive um, and whatever I do. You know what I mean? Uh, if if I don't have you guys, then I don't have I don't have anything. Um, my fans, like, I don't I don't often express it just cause maybe I don't have time or like I feel like sometimes I need to save it just to make it more valuable when I actually do say it. But I feel like. I need to come clean and say that you guys mean the world to me. You know what I mean? I, I'm not just saying this just because I'm doing this Twitter thing, but yeah, I, I've been meaning to say that um, that you guys being supportive is just is more than what I could ask for. Um, so I will pay you back with good music and hopefully visit by visiting your town or nearby so you can come and watch me in person yeah so we can meet so yeah um thank you uh, 
the weather is really you know, just like foggy, a lot of micro dust. Look how gray the sky is. It's like there's no color. There's uh, the makeup artist. That's my manager. That's another manager. Do I like seeing pictures of the sky? Um, yeah, but I like seeing the actual sky. Uh, Wear a mask. Yeah, I'm in the car right now, so it's, it's okay. Super hungry though. come to Phoenix again yeah man Phoenix was lit so you go Calm down, Ohio. We'll see. What's in Ohio, though? I am sleepy. I, I got like four hours of sleep. Um, I don't know. These days, I can't fall asleep. Like, even, even if like I'm super tired, my body's super tired, and I know that I should get some sleep, I can't fall asleep physically. I, I just can't. I lie down with my phone down, um, eyes closed and everything, but I can't fall asleep. I don't know why. Depression is in Ohio. <laughs> you crazy. Try meditating. Actually, something about med meditation, I, I find it a little religious. As as a as as Christian, um, I heard that meditation and yoga, the whole thing, it's not just about closing your eyes and taking a deep breath. It's more it's more a spir spiritual thing. So, as Christian, I don't do meditation. If anything, I pray. But yeah, I rather pray than meditate. But yeah, I know what you mean. Like, just take take a deep breath. Just take some time. Take my mind off everything. Just take take some time to myself, right? Just to yeah. Don't skip meals and take care. Yeah, I grew up. I grew up at church. Yeah. Um, Yo, know, movie theaters in Korea, like the biggest movie theaters in Korea, and so they started putting up my poster up on there, like up on the thing where they put other posters, you know, like other movie posters. It's crazy. Yeehaw. Did you listen to new Epic High album? Yes. And I thought it was great um, because not only because it's just good music, but just because it reminded me of the old Epic High albums. Like they don't they don't try to like experiment, which sometimes it's, it's not you know, always a good thing, I guess, if you just stay with one sound. But I think for Epic High, that's, they've been in the game forever and they're already, you know, legends in Korea. So I think it's good that they brought back the old sound. Yeah. 
So I know for sure that the Epic High fans really appreciate that album. Yeah, I play video games on my PlayStation. I play uh, Pro Evolution Soccer. Always been a homebody, yes. Yes. It's in my blood. Uh, yeah, I mean uh nothing really nothing more to say really. Just just that um you should look out for my album because it's gonna be special. It's gonna be special. Um, and I know, I hope that you guys like it when it, when it comes out. Uh, and if you don't, if you, you don't, but I like it, so. Seven more days till the drop. So stay, stay tuned. Bear with me. Uh, I know you guys have a lot of questions, but in due time, uh, I'm gonna start putting up a uh, track list, um, teasers for the music videos and stuff. It's it's all coming. It's all coming. I promise. And if you have a chance, come visit Korea because it's nice. Um, it's nice with the old, uh, the with, with all that micro dust, you know. It's nice. Look, look how pretty, pretty the sky is. You never seen a gray sky before. Only in Korea, man. Only in Korea. Are you sick of cl clear skies? Are you sick of? Uh, are you sick of looking at stars at night? Come to Korea. Because at night, if you look up the sky, you can't see any stars. It's nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm being sarcastic, by the way. You guys all broke man it's okay you know like if you have money or not like it doesn't matter as long as as long as you got people around you that, that love you then that's all that matters cuz I only started making money like recently and I'm not I'm not trying to like say anything I'm not trying to even flex but I'm just saying like things really don't don't change um, at the end of the day, it's just about who you have around you that matters the most. Because money will come and go. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna bring you happiness. It's not, you think it's gonna make you happy, but not, not really. Yeah, you can get some stuff that you, you might want. Like, you can get bags, you can get clothes, you can get shoes, whatever, watches, whatever. But... In a week or two, you get sick of it, and you're off looking for other new stuff. You end up spending more money, you know what I mean? So, I think money is something that you definitely need to, in order to like live, right? But that doesn't mean you need a lot of it. As, as long as you have just enough to get by, I think that's okay and I'm not saying don't strive to make more money if you can be more financially successful then go ahead you know good for you um, do whatever you need to do to to be more successful be more productive um, but even if right now at this moment 
you may be broke, you may not have so much money, but that's okay. That's fine. Just like, don't um, don't compare yourself to other people. Because that's something that I learned during my journey here uh, in Korea. Uh, that, that comparing yourself is like the biggest poison you can give yourself. Because everybody's different. They Everybody's been through different paths. So they have different backgrounds. They have different set of mindset. They have different upbringing. They have different personalities and everything. But why are you comparing? Like just the fact that you comparing yourself with somebody that's totally different. It's like it just doesn't make any sense. But if you start comparing yourself uh, to other people, you're you're not you're only gonna look at bad things. You're only gonna think of bad things. Like oh, how come he or she has something that I don't have? That's the only thing you're gonna you can think about. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you're doing fine. Wherever you are, you're doing fine. You're alive. You're on Twitter right now. You're watching me. You're doing fine. Um, I don't know how this turned into a motivational speech. <laughs> but I'm not one to... I'm not a qualified person to give anybody advice, but... That's something that, that I, I hope that you guys know. You know what I mean? Just keep in mind that, you know, it's not that serious. Life's not that serious. Like, just take it easy. Do do something that you love. And even if you you can't, like, realistically, you can't do something that you love for, for a living, then that's okay. Just, like, even as a hobby, do something that, do activities that, that make you happy. Or spend time with people that make you happy. Because life's not, life's super short, and it's not, it's not that serious. Just, just have fun. Anyways, I think uh, we're almost here at the studio. So. I'll catch you guys later. Whatever that may be. Thank you for watching. And peace out. I'll see you guys. Have a good day.